like he loves you and praises the Lord and stuff like that. Hey y'all, so today I will be sharing before I go to school. 7.14 right now, we're good. Um, I'm going to share kind of what I pray for and what my devotions look like. So, my devotions kind of look like this. This is a three minute from my BFF. She gave it to me for my birthday. And then my mom gave me this one. It's called the Jesus Calling. It's the 365 devotions. Um, the one I did today, I will read to you. I am Lord. Many are plans, are the plans in man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19.21 I am the Lord. I am the friend who is always with you, but must remember that I am also your Lord. I am king over all, and I want to be the king of your life. As you begin each day, talk to me about it, and as you go through your day, keep checking in on me. Keep, er, keep checking in with me. Keep asking for my guidance. It is okay to make some plans, but be open to change to be open to changes in some of those plans. I may have other ideas for your day. Don't skip ahead or take shortcuts. Concentrate on the task that is right before you. Do your very best at that. Then trust me to show what you do next. I will guide your, you step by step, leading you along the path of peace. So he um, is saying just, like, you can count on me. You don't have to be afraid. Kind of that stuff. And then we're going to do the three minute one. Kindness anyway. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing one another's love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Ephesians 4, 2 through 3. Maddie's younger brother, Henry, frustrates her. Over the weekend, she had a birthday sleepover with some friends, and he would not stop running through the house yelling while they were watching a movie. He ate up half the snacks that mom brought for the night, and it seemed impossible just to enjoy talking to her friends. Her older brother, Jack, is a little better, but his friends are so awkward and irritating to have around. These boys are ridiculous. Her mom told her that they're just not sure how to act around her and that they're just trying to navigate these growing years, too. It's a comfortable time in the life for everyone, her mom said. Maddie thought about that and how many uncertain things she faces, too. She decided to try following Paul's words she read in Ephesians and work on being more patient and kind. The boys st are still super silly, silly, <laughs> but she's noticing improvement. And now, and she now knows that what she's doing is what she's supposed to do. And then this is the prayer part. God, give me a heart to treat the annoying people in my life with kindness. I need your help to be more like you. Amen. And that was day 169. All right. Now I have this lovely thing. Um, I'm just going to go through the prayer I did last night. Um, so let's get to it. Dear Lord, thank you for a good track meet today. Thank you for a good day at school. I pray that everyone would sleep well and have a good day tomorrow. I pray that you would give me a man that loves me and that praises you. I pray he puts others before him. And I pray that he loves you more than he loves me and that he gives glory to you. And also that and also that he looks up to you. Thank you for dying for me. And thank you for this life. I love you. Amen. So the man part, I'm just praying um, for his own time to bring me a man. Um it's hard in the waiting season but i know he's gonna bring me a man that loves me and that loves jesus and that glorifies his name um and that's important because you as a christian girl want a man who loves him just like you do and so you can go to church together and you can um pray through the hard times and stuff like that so that is my advice for praying for a man. I'm just like praying that he glorifies him and that he loves him with all of his heart more than he loves you. Um, and that he just praises you, praises the Lord 
and he is also a gentleman. We want him to be kind and funny and silly, but we want him to be a gentleman too. So thank you guys. Bye.